Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new. So today I will be reacting to Amazon reviews or hamster cages on Amazon. So the reviews that they've been given, like the pictures, when people post pictures of their setup. So I'm just going to be reacting to Amazon review hamster cage setups. Um, I'll do this in two parts, so there's going to be good cages in this video and bad cages in the next video um, and I'll be linking all the uh, cages in the description for you if you want to go and get one of them because they're good sizes and everything like that so let's get on to the first cage so I'm starting with the Savic Hamster Plaza I think that's how you say it um, and the first setup has a great sized wheel, um, loads of hides, chews, enrichment like the um, cork log, some uh, burrow starters. I love the um, kind of like hay or grassy chamber hide looking thing. It has a tile to keep the hamster cool. It has a good amount of bedding, lots of busy things to do, which I think is very good for this style of cage. They've really like utilised all the space and the only thing I didn't see was a sand bath in there so if that person ends up watching this video and um, you know if they didn't have a sand bath then I'd recommend adding one. Next one. Um, the second one this person has two dwarfs I think so they got two of these cages and I'll be showing the first setup now. Uh, I loved the platforms, the IKEA Nuff I think, and it has bedding in it, and just the uh, wheel size because it's a dwarf, the wood, all the different you know textures and stuff, and yeah, it was a really good one. The second setup again, I love all the platforms, how they're utilising all the space, and the chews and hides and everything like that. One thing I would say is to add a sand bath again if you don't have one already because I couldn't see one and other than that's alright maybe a little bit more bedding but for dwarfs the amount of bedding in that um, setup is perfectly normal like a good amount. Now we are on to the poor hut setups so this first setup is very busy um, has you know a lot of chews which is good uh, some hides and and stuff. I would say to add way more bedding because the bedding's not enough for a hamster. I would even add it up to the first, like the ridge of the first level. Um, so like the second setup, which I'll show you in a minute, because it it'll uh, break their fall if they end up falling off the platform. And um, yeah, and also take out the cotton bedding because that is not safe for hamsters and I'll change the bedding that you have because it looks like sawdust which is unsafe so I'll change that to like tea bag or just paper bedding so yeah the next setup has a great wheel size for a Syrian uh, amazing bedding depth safe bedding some enrichment so like grassy hides uh, wood, bendy bridges, um, what's it called again, hay, they have hay scattered round, um, I didn't see a sand bath so if you didn't have one again add one in because it is essential for hamsters to clean themselves in a sand bath and scatter feed, I'll just re recommend scatter feeding if you don't already because that could really, um, enrich your hamster and the last setup for the poor huts is this one obviously you'll see it on the screen has chews hides um i can't even see what i've written down to. <laughs> i like the deep bedding section at the back um but i'll just do it all across again the first uh floor kind of thing 
up to the first level so it breaks her fall. Uh, I like the things they've added, maybe an upright wheel and also an upright wheel for the first one, I can't, I forgot to mention that because flying saucers aren't the best so um, just get an upright wheel, they're pretty cheap depending on which brand you go for and I would take out the um, sawdust looking bedding, if it is sawdust or pine or cedar bedding and just do like paper based and if I know like it can be very expensive sometimes to fill a cage that big with the proper depth with paper based bedding but what I would use if you can't afford like KT or Carefresh because they're very expensive um, I would use napkins so I'll put a picture up on the screen here you can get them from Ikea in loads of different colours they're safe because you know you use them for like eating with and yeah they, they're safe you can get them loads of different colours so you can just mix and match just shred them up and put them in there and that would you know boost the bedding levels a bit more and then again a sand bath if you don't have them one already I don't know why everyone doesn't seem to have one maybe they do and I just can't see it but yeah that's what I'd recommend so the next cage is the zoo zone 2 this was originally meant to be for rabbits and guinea pigs but it's way too small for both animals so to make it safe for hamsters because the gap in, in between the bars is too wide uh, you have to get one centimetre or half a centimetre wire mesh and zip tie it to the lid of the cage but it's a great cage and I'd recommend it if you want kind of like a plasticky style one where you can fit more bedding in. The first one has lovely bedding depth, loads of enrichment like sprays, uh, cork logs, you know like uh, different substrates so they have the paper base which is really deep bedding um, at one side and then at one section with the wheel which is also the right size they have like coconut husk by the look of it very lovely setup um, I would I literally have nothing wrong with this but I would say with the sand bath it looks a bit dusty so maybe change it to a different type of sand that isn't so like dusty but you know it's up to you if they see this video again <laughs> um, and maybe make it a bigger area because you know hamsters really like sand baths and stuff and maybe add a hide in it I don't know I'm, I really didn't have much to suggest because you have everything and it looks really good and your hamster's very very cute the next one has a great size wheel sand bath chews and hides I would um, add more bedding and then scatter feed as well and that's pretty much it. <laughs> the next one has chews, hides and um, but I would recommend upgrading the wheel because it does look a little small and I think you have a Syrian so I'll definitely upgrade um, and add a sand bath if you don't have it one already and again a little bit more bedding since you're able to fill up more um, I'd recommend at least to the top of the blue pan but you could always add more because of the extra plastic kind of lid thing. The next one has choose hide wheel, sand bath. Um, although, even though it's a really lovely, busy, busy setup for your Syrian, which is very cute, um, I would not have the sawdust in, even though it's nice bedding depth. The sawdust isn't safe which I think is sawdust that you're using so I would just use paper based instead. And the last one has a good size wheel, choose, hide. Um, I would maybe do a sand area you know where your wooden wheel is which I, I love the wooden wheel. Um, and I'll just do a full sand section just across where the wheel is just so that they um, 
the hamster is able to you know have a sand bath because it's essential and also it saves bedding for that bit so you can add more to the bedding size its size side so then it increases the bedding over there so they can burrow more so now we are on to bin cages so this bin cage this first one is a wham 133 litre one i think i was saying that right i think it's wham and I'll put the square inch on the screen so it is above the UK minimum just though um, I think it's a good cage for those who might not have enough space because bin cages allow you to add more bedding and everything like that. The first one is of gerbils, a gerbil setup. Now I'm no expert on gerbils but I know that they do tend to chew through plastic very easily. So I would definitely um, just be careful. I mean, I know some might not chew it as much, especially if that's a thicker um, type of plastic. But I'd just be very careful on that and also take the plastic flying saucer wheel out and maybe get a wooden wheel, an upright one as well, since their tails go up as well. So you don't want to, you know, bend their back and stuff like that. Um, I like the deep bedding section, I would just, you know, like make it bigger, a bigger bedding section since gerbils love to burrow and a little bit taller as well, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know, I think sawdust isn't safe for gerbils either, so I just do full paper base and maybe a little bit of a bigger sand bath because that little pod thing in the corner you know, it isn't enough to fit two of them in if they wanted to be in at the same time, so it's better to have like a bigger section of sand so they're able to have their own space to bathe in. Now the second one, I love how you made the lid on the side, so they've kind of like pushed it over on the side, as you'll see in this, um, in the picture, and they've done the lid on the side. Now I would be careful for this one and the next one that I'm going to show you, they have decided to do uh, drill holes in for ventilation. Now this doesn't really provide a lot of vent ventilation for your hamster and they can start chewing in, in it if they get bored like round the hole and then manage to escape or might even get stuck. I mean I've seen this TikTok where this poor hamster chewed the bin cage drilled hole and it got its head stuck in there. So I'll just be very careful with that and maybe change it to mesh if you can. But I love the depth. Alright. But I love the chews and the hide and the what's it called? The the wheel. I think the wheel's a great size and the hide's very big. I'll just recommend more bedding and a bigger sand area. And this last one for this particular bin cage is uh, amazing. I love it so much. It's so natural. Um, it has a chamber hide. It has terracotta pots to keep cool. A load of bedding. And um, shoes. A wooden wheel. Uh, I believe there might be a sand bath in. Although I couldn't really see one. So again, if there wasn't one I would add that in but I might have just missed it because of how full it was and all the chews and everything it was, it was just a great setup I love it and it's really just busy so I bet your hamster will enjoy it in there and then this last cage there was only one um, picture of someone using it as a hamster bin cage is of the other wham storage box but this will only be suitable for people in America who have the minimum of 450 square inches because this is only just like 500 square inches which I still think is a bit small but I like the length of it and the depth so it's still a good cage and you have chews, hides and I love the depth I'll, as you can see it's like it's so deep I think it was 12 inches um, Again, I'll add a sand bath probably on that yellow tube so it doesn't, you know, fall in. So it's got something underneath that's not going to make it collapse on your hamster. 
But yeah, I'll put their like description of the cage here so you can see, you know, that they've how they think what they think of this cage and how much bedding they've actually included. And yeah, this is all the cages that I've put in the um good side because I wanted to do like a variety of cages so obviously the zoo zone too and the pull are pretty popular cages but I wanted to give um, these enclosures like the bin cages and the Savic Hamster Plaza um, a bit more recognition because it really shows what you can do with these types of enclosures and how you can utilize the space and how you can set up them like really well and give your hamster a really good life. So this might inspire you to set up um, your cages a bit differently and also for new hamster owners, people who are researching to see the setups and the good cages which will again be linked in the description for you. So I hope you enjoyed, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!